in the garden now that spring has officially sprung. It's time to get planting. And this morning, we want to share some tips for creating an herb container garden. There are some really important things that you need to know. So we welcome back Jennifer from Blooming Artisan. Welcome. Thank you. We were talking herbs. It's so great to, to grow your own herbs. And you were talking about having them so ready and on hand and within reach. Yes, I like to plant my herbs in containers so that they're easily accessible to the house when I want them for my favorite recipe um, or cocktail. They're <laughs> right there at my fingertips. Now you have some tips. We have plenty of herbs out on the table today and you've grouped them accordingly. How so? Yeah, so most herbs like dry sunny locations mm -hmm. and the ones here on this, your side are those herbs. They're going to want to really dry out in between watering mm -hmm. and some of those are what so we have sage yes, some mint mm -hmm. uh, derby's coming up this weekend Perfect. Ah, yes <laughs> sometimes i even take the leaf right and you just chew on it yep fresh in your breath mid-segment yep <laughs> some thyme and rosemary as mm -hmm. well and then we have some that are more annuals and they're going to want to be watered a little bit more frequently and those are like the basils, the cilantros, and the mm -hmm. parsley. So keeping each of those the groups in different containers that way you're not almost destroying them. Yes, that you're really giving them what they need. Mm -hmm. So let's start making one and as we go you can provide us with some other helpful tips. So sure. what should we consider when we're creating our container garden? So you want a well draining soil. Mm -hmm. um, you do not need to fertilize because the less fertile the more intense the flavors of your herbs. You want them to taste like they should. Yeah, exactly. And so so I want to pick herbs that kind of have different shapes, textures, and colors because oh, yeah. I do like the aesthetic value of them. So we have the mint and then we have the sage mm -hmm. that has a little bit. Well, let's um, jump right in. Let's start sure. creating one of sure. these. What herbs do you like? Everything. Everything. Um, I love the sage. Yep. I think this is great. A too. rosemary. A rosemary. Yep. The nice silver. Can we throw the mint in with yep. it as well? That's a mint right here. Oh, that's that a mint. Yep. The one I had. Yep. Okay. So, so let's can go use for that. it. Yep. I'm going to take this out. We'll start here. Now, yes. so because this one's a little bit taller. Yes. Should I be putting it in the e middle? Either the middle or the back. Oh, okay. And you can break up here. the root ball a little bit. Here, I'll do that oh. for you. So this isn't too heavily rooted, but you can just kind of break it up and mm -hmm. tease it apart a little bit before you plant it. That'll help the roots spread. Sometimes, too, we get excited right when there. we see things in bloom. With herbs, it's a little different. Yeah, with herbs, you don't want to let them go to bloom because they that will also change the flavor of your herbs. So as soon really? as you see a bud forming, you're going to want to just kind of go in with your scissors or your finger and pinch that flower bud mm -hmm. right off. I'll let you do the same okay. for this one. Yeah, no, when, we're, when we this are one has a little bit more root, so I'm just gonna. That. Is hold that them. so that way all the moisture and everything will take to the roots? A and it allows the roots to expand and grow out mm -hmm. versus continuing to wrap around itself. This is really great, and it's simple and easy to do, even if you don't have a full garden at home to do yeah, a creator yeah. of a, a small container space, garden. Absolutely. It works wonderfully for that. And you know what? You're going to get a little messy. Mm -hmm. This is why you should get the kids involved too, right? Yes. <laughs> it's a great way to, for kids to start to learn about gardening and growing mm -hmm. their own food. Love that. Any other tips on certain herbs? Um, or maintenance for that matter. I mean, you're saying these don't enjoy too much moisture. So how often should you, should you water them? Um, as soon as I let it dry out completely and then really? go in and water it until it runs through. Give it a good soaking and mm -hmm. then let it dry out completely again. All good tips. Yep. We are well on our way to creating a delicious little container garden. We'll keep going with this. And you can find these tips to watch this segment again over on our website. Happy planting. Happy spring. <laughs>